Well, we start with a big decision impacting Iowa property owners that fought against a carbon pipeline project from taking their land. Tonight, they have won part of the battle. The project is now dead. Local 5's Megan McPherson has more on why landowners across the state are celebrating tonight. Stephanie Navigator CO2 Ventures sent word today that it officially canceled the Heartland Greenway pipeline project. That proposed pipeline would have run directly across Iowa as well as four other Midwest states. This afternoon I spoke to several landowners about the decision as well as the state representative who played a key role in their efforts. After a two year battle, landowners across the state of Iowa are celebrating a victory over big business. This is a, a victory for all property rights. Navigator CO2 Ventures has officially canceled its Heartland Greenway pipeline project. The proposed pipeline would have cut through Iowa and four other Midwest states. As I began to look into the issue, my, my biggest concern was the use of eminent domain. I have no problem with the pipeline being built. State Representative Stephen Holt has heard countless concerns from landowners in his district about the project. It must be both um, convenient and necessary for the citizens of Iowa, and it doesn't meet those requirements either. It's neither convenient or necessary. Not only that, but also... Our main concern is the abuse of eminent domain. Longtime landowners like Andrew Johnson fought against giving up their land for a CO2 pipeline. It's terrifying. It, it's heartbreaking. It's, it's kept us up at night. And with the Navigator project now dead, they won't have to. To let a private company with foreign investment come into this land is just not right. Iowa Falls landowner Kathy Stockdale also feeling relieved. She and other Iowa landowners now sending a message to the Iowa Utilities Board. I hope the IUB is listening and that they will continue to listen to farm, farmers and not grant some of eminent domain. As they consider other pipeline projects through the state. Navigator explained their reasoning for canceling the project in a statement saying, quote, given the unpredictable nature of the regulatory and government processes involved, particularly in South Dakota and Iowa, the company has decided to cancel its pipeline project. Stephanie. Megan, thank you. And another controversial carbon pipeline project that would run across Iowa is now delayed. A spokesperson for Summit Carbon Solution says the delay is because of a change in the timeline given to them by the South Dakota Public Utilities Commission. They add they are working with counties to find a path and plan to refile an application by the end of the year.